like cast for pipe and spin. There he is. Good one. You want to get in that for me? Woo! Hey, how's it going? It's Ty, and this is Get the Gaff Outdoors. Um, with all the state parks being closed and a lot of boat launches being closed and the weather really being crappy, it's not really ideal to be out in the boat or somewhere else, so I'm just staying home. Uh, today we're gonna be fishing with little sucker minnows and little shiner minnows, one with the Carolina rig on the bottom. Others we're gonna be fishing with uh, slip bobbers, um, suspending minnows in deep water, hopefully catching crappies, but who knows what we're gonna catch today. Hopefully we catch a bunch and maybe even something big. So, without further ado, we'll get to it. If we catch something, this will be a video. If not, it won't. So if you're watching this, probably caught something cool. Stay tuned. Oh. Well, uh, my bobber just got buried right away. And I probably lost my bait because I missed it. I'm gonna drag a little loose for a hook set. God dang. Yeah. Oh, I still got my bait. No way. I'm he's probably deader than dead though. Oh boy. Let's rehook him a little bit more better. Hopefully enough still that I can get a good hook set. Oh, he's still kicking. Come on. Dude, what was that? Oh, I just laid a whale of a hook set into something. It feels a lot like a bass. It's heavy. Probably a little heavy for the ultralight. There's some sticks over here we're going to get away from. Come on. I can't see it now because it... Oh, the way the sun is. Come on. I haven't... Uh, bass. It is a bass. It's a, oh, come on, it's a bass, but that's okay. That's okay. Cut her on a jig and like three quarters of a night crawler. Oh, there we go. There we go, buddy. Not bad. Not bad. Probably one and a half, one pounder, but thick. Thick, fat, little thing. Oh, I missed it. Something buried me again, but my line was caught underneath a stick. Oh, get back out there. We're buried, we're buried, we're buried, we're buried. We're buried. Got him. Nope, you get out of the tree, get out of the tree, get out of the tree. We're out of the tree. We're out of the tree. Whoo! That was on the bobber. This feels like another bass. I mean, the wind is just blowing super hard. Jeez, is fight. Oh, dude, is that a crappie? No way. No way, that's a bass, right? Oh, oh, it is a bass, okay. Phew, I thought that was an absolute monster crappie. Come on, buddy. But the wind has just been blowing back here all day. And, you know, over on the other side where the wind wasn't blowing. Ugh. Didn't catch anything, but over here, I got two fat bass, almost cookie cutters of each other. This one's probably a little bit bigger. Not too shabby. Oh, go on. Hey, oh, 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 you're just gonna do it again, huh? Again, just slow, whoa, whoa. Just slow retrieve of the night crawler instead of jigging it. Come on, nope, nope, out of the tree, out of the tree, out of the tree. Ooh, that is a crappie. Did you see the drag that thing pulled? That was a crappie that did that. Oh, that's a pig. That female is about to absolutely pop. Look at the gut on that thing. What a toad. 
That was just reeling it in real slow like and it just boom popped it. Cause that thing is just thick. Full of eggs. That's why we're gonna put her back. <laughs> On again. Just like in the slow roll, this feels like a panfish. It's another crappy. Another good one though. It's not fighting as hard. Come on here, buddy. Oh my God, that one's so much bigger. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. And absolutely devoured it. Or made it head first, maybe. That is a stud. Slab Asaurus, get the freaking gaff. I mean, full eggs again. And again, that's why we're gonna let her go. Oh, these crappies are pre-spawned, so they're just thinking about coming up here and bedding, but it's, again, 38 degrees, so not quite yet, but. Hooked up on the one with the minnow. I absolutely wailed on the hook set, but it was way out there, which is why I did. I don't, it's not fighting right now. It's just coming right in. There, it's starting to pull some drag. That's another good crappie. That ate a big, <laughs> big sucker minnow. Big sucker minnow and a bobber. Another big female. Oh, it's all wrapped up in it. That's why I didn't fight. Oh, that's an absolute toad again. Oh, yeah. All right, zeros. Oh, hold on. One, three, six. Not bad. About just shy of 13. Let's let her go. Pre-spawn crappie. Live bait on bobber, just suspended out in the middle of nothing. Oh, look at the gut on that thing. Pretty fish, let her go. Whoo, there she goes. Well, I just got done putting all my stuff away. Um, ended up with three crappies that were well over 12 inches. Um, probably just under one and a half pounds, each of them, and two real fat, nice pre-spawn bass. Everything's kind of just getting ready and full of eggs. Not really that hungry though for bait, but the live bait made it work today. Um, hopefully the weather can warm up so we can start using some artificials and have a little bit more fun with that. So. Thanks again for watching Get the Gaff Outdoors. Uh, if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button. Um, also hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments down below. It really helps out a lot. Thanks again for watching. Nothing like casting for pike and spinning. There he is. Good one. Wanna get a net for me? Woo!